geotechnical engineering has become an integral part of mine operations fairly recently. Three decades ago very few mines employed site-based geotechnical engineers, geotechnical design and operational support were primarily carried out by specialized consultancies and or research institutions. Nowadays, global mining companies develop in-house geotechnical expertise at corporate and mine levels and hire consultants to undertake mining project studies or assist in solving specific ground engineering problems. This important change was brought about by strict mine safety regulations enacted in 1990 ties and gradual recognition by the mining community of the value of active ground engineering in optimizing mine design and managing the geotechnical risks. While majority of the mining companies have already established geotechnical capabilities, many are yet to develop or upgrade them. This video aims to increase awareness of the role and importance of geotechnical engineering in mining. Geotechnical function on a mine site is a part of Mine Technical Services Department. This department consists of several integrated functions and is responsible for strategic mine planning and effective technical guidance of the mining operations. A typical mine technical services setup and key responsibility technical functions are shown in the figure below. It is the role of the site geotechnical engineer to provide ground engineering support to achieve mine production targets and identify opportunities to improve geotechnical aspect of mine design. Also, an important facet of the role is to timely advise the mine management on the need to change the mine design and or mine plan to address the geotechnical risks. Mine design at a mine project study stage is based on the information available at the time the study is carried out. It is recognized that during this stage there is usually limited detail of the overall rock mass available and that it is necessary to make a number of assumptions. As mine develops and new geological, geotechnical and hydrogeological data is being collected and performance of existing excavations is analyzed, it is necessary to re-evaluate design assumptions and, if required, modify the initial design. It is a responsibility of the mine management to seek continuous improvement of the initial mine design to increase mine value and the risk long-term production profile. Let's consider few examples of the mine design improvements through geotechnical engineering. The value of open pit mining operation is primarily driven by R versus waste strip ratio. The less waste to move to extract ore, the higher the revenue that open pit mine generates. Open pit slope geometry, or slope angles, is at the core of mine design, it is determined based on rock mechanics principles by geotechnical engineers. It is in their custody to design stable slopes to produce the most value for the excavation. In a large open pit, a change of a slope angle by one degree can result in either increase or decrease of waste volume by few percent, which has a notable impact on total costs. It is worth noting that a majority of pit projects are executed on feasibility level geotechnical design with pit slope accuracy of plus slash 3 to 5 degrees. Detailed geotechnical design can have a large impact on pit mining economics. For an underground operation optimization of mine infrastructure and R access layout can save hundreds of meters of UG development. Fine-tuning mining method parameters, for example stope dimensions, lift heights, can increase a key UG operation metric, extraction volume per meter of development. Although it is tough task, optimizing ground support requirements can lead to higher development rates. Each of these design improvements can increase the mine value. It is also worth noting that detailed geotechnical design may also arrive to a conclusion that initial geotechnical design is over optimistic and propose corrections to de-risk the mine plan. Opportunities to generate value in mine design through a continuous geotechnical engineering must be fully explored. All modifications to the initial design should be supported by sound analysis carried out by a qualified and experienced geotechnical engineer. 
a loss of the ground control due to poor consideration of geotechnical conditions at the design stage and or a lack of proactive ground engineering during mine operations may lead to failures, here are some examples. Bench and slope failures. Uncontrolled falls of ground. Uncontrolled subsidence. Uncontrolled caving of go four stopes. Rock bursts and other seismic events. Pillar failures including crown and sill pillars. Failures of stopes, or passes or shafts. In rushes of unconsolidated ground or fill or bodies of water. It should be recognized that initial mine geotechnical design is carried out in the environment of pervasive uncertainty due to an incomplete knowledge of material characteristics, loading conditions and rock mass structure. Therefore, continuous geotechnical data collection and analysis are required to ensure that the mine design is based on real conditions and is optimal. Geotechnical uncertainty at the design execution stage should be managed through a site-specific risk management framework, ground control management plan, to prevent unwanted outcomes or, at the minimum, mitigate their consequences to an acceptable level. The value that geotechnical engineering can add to a mine planning and operational processes should not be underestimated. The mines that get their ground engineering right operate efficiently and with the minimum practical geotechnical difficulties and hazards.